everyone was waiting for this qualifying competition that is the penultimate before the Olympic Games in Paris. Today, we are gonna watch the performance of the first Olympic category. The battle is expected to be thrilling, as the stakes are escalating rapidly. Women's 49 kilograms. Media. Today, we are gonna spectate the bright performances of nine female weightlifters who are ready to set high standards in each exercise to surpass their rivals. Here, we have a world record holder in the weight class, Ri Song Goom in clean and jerk of 124 kilograms and a total of 216 kilograms. Shurochana Kambao, a gold medalist of the World Championship and Southeast Asian Games. Rosegi Ramos, a two-time gold medalist of the Asian Junior Championships in 2022 and 2023. So don't miss the performance of these female lightweight Olympic category and keep an eye on the tough battle between the division's strongest athletes. Today, we may witness another world record set by a powerful female lifter who will hit the podium. The performance in the snatch exercise started from 77 kilograms. On this contest day, 52% of all attempts were successful, which is a below average rate. Now let's analyze the top three lifters' performance. The third place was taken by Surachana Kambao from Thailand, who showed her high concentration to get to the top three today. She attempted to lift 84 kilograms on the first try, which resulted in no lift. Then she repeated the lift with the same weight, which resulted in success and the bronze medal in the snatch exercise. The third attempt was 2 kilos more, 86 kilograms, but she didn't manage to lift it. Rosegi Ramos from the Philippines lifted 88 kilograms on the third attempt, which brought her the silver medal in the exercise. Her first attempt was 85 kilos she lifted easily. However, the second try with 87 kilos failed, and the third attempt with a 1 kilo gap became successful for the lifter. The winner of the snatch exercise became Ri Sang Goon, who showcased her inner strength and resilience on the way to her victory. She proved her supremacy once again by performing last in her weight class. 90 kilograms was her first successful try, while the second, in 95 kilos, ended with no success. Finally, she managed to accumulate all her power and lift 95 kilos on the third attempt. This was just one kilo away from the new senior world record. Discover the Overhead Mobility Program, your key to unlocking Olympic weightlifting performance. This program, based on my 20-year Olympic and coaching experience blended with my rehab team expertise. It offers 5 tests, 18 workouts, each just 30 minutes long, and 120 instructional videos. Perfect for athletes looking to improve upper body mobility, develop joint strength overhead, and boost lifting confidence. I guarantee overhead mobility progress or your money back. Don't wait. Elevate your mobility today and unleash your full potential. The snatch exercise showed us that the battle wasn't easy as it could have been expected at first sight. Even though 52% of all lifts were successful, we noticed that some athletes had two failed attempts. It speaks about the fact that the atmosphere in the podium was really competitive and no one wanted to miss their chances. We have three obvious leaders in the weight category. Tai Yusuro Chanakambao, Filippo Rosegui Ramos, 
and Ri Sang-gum, who have already been leading the division in the previous championships. Each of them has a weight gap of several kilos between their contenders. Moreover, during the performance they looked more confident and focused, unlike the rest lifters. The contest in the clean and jerk discipline started with a weight of 93 kilograms. Fifty-two percent of all attempts in these exercises were successful, which is a below average rate. Let's describe the performance of the top three lifters. The Thai lifter Soto Chana Kambao took bronze with her lift of 106 kilograms she performed on the third try. Her first lift wasn't successful trying to lift 103 kilos. Although, she gathered her strength and showed good lifts on the second try with the same weight and the third one of 106 kilos. Rira Suzuki from Japan succeeded in getting a silver medal with a solid 109 kilos on the second attempt. Today, we spectated the powerful performance. 105 kilos on the first attempt and 109 kilos on the second try. Although she decided to decline her third attempt, that didn't hinder her from getting the silver medal. What's more, she lifted 3 kilos more than her contender from the third place. The gold medal went to Ri San Gum, who impressed everyone today with incredible lifts. All her lifts were successful. Incredible 117 kilos on the first try, 122 kilos on the second attempt, And the last, triumphal one was 129 kilograms, meaning she succeeded in setting the new senior world and Asian records with one kilo better compared to her prior results of 124 kilos. Considering the results of the clean and jerk exercise, we can state that successful and failed lifts were divided separately. Some lifters were out of focus or lost their strength for the second round, while others managed to show decent lifts. The leaders' board changed a bit, with Tai Shurachana and Korean Ri Sun-gum remaining in their positions, the third and first spots respectively. However, the second place moved from Filippo Rosegi Ramos to the Japanese lifter Rira Suzuki, who accumulated all her power to show better results in clean and jerk. The most outstanding event during the performance of the 49-kilo weight class was the exemplary lifts of Ri Sun-gum. Being a tiny and extremely powerful athlete, she proved her lifting skills, mastery, and inner determination by setting a new senior world and Asian record in the clean and jerk round. So the category leader became Ri Sang-gum, who showed remarkable lifts resulting in 220 kilos in total. She finished with an immense weight gap between her rival in second place in 29 kilos. She also improved her total by 4 kilos. She got 216 kilos at the 2022 Asian Games, setting the world record. Although today she surpassed herself and proved that she is the strongest lifter in the 49 kilo weight class. The silver medalist became Japanese Rira Suzuki. She finished her performance with 191 kilos. She showed remarkable results and she improved her ranking compared to her performance at the World Championship in Riyadh, where she finished in 8th place. Still, she has already shown great results in Tashkent in 2021 at the Worlds. She was second with a total results of 179 kilos. Rosegi Ramos from the Philippines was third today with 190 kilos in total. She showed almost the same results as she got at the 2023 Asian Games in Hangzhou. By the way, these are her best totals and snatch results.
Overall, the performance in the 49kg category proved to us once more that strong inner persistence and discipline play crucial roles in successful performance. With the help of a tough training regime, lifters can gain great results both at speed-oriented lifting exercises and strength-targeted ones. Keep on watching our videos, as we are gonna highlight the performances in the next Olympic categories. Don't miss it! No less intriguing things will happen tomorrow. Subscribe to our channel and like our video. Stay strong and remember, warm body, cold mind.